Hello, everyone. Welcome. It has been a while. <laughs> and I'm glad that I'm back. Make sure I can actually hear myself. Oh, dear. Wow, we've got some serious frame drop happening here. Okay, now we're good now. All right. Well... I have to remember how to play this game now. <laughs> okay. Um, let's see. So we have already talked to Liara about stuff. Oh, a rival. We've already unlocked a rival. Good lord. Okay. Let's see. Okay. Crested help hacking systems on Ilium to get her valuable data. After hacking a system of vulnerable server, no, it can be linked to Liara's machine. Okay. So we still have to get Samara, Thane, and let's see. We've gotten the, um... We've gotten the loyalty missions for Zaid, Kasumi, Jacob, Miranda, and Jack. Okay. Does living at a higher altitude make you more intelligent? Our report may surprise you. New data commissioned by the Architectural Union has noted a correlation between tested intelligence and height of habitat. The news comes as new homes ranging from What? What was that? <laughs> hmm. All right, we've got to We have to find where these places are. Okay, let's <laughs> let's not jump to any conclusions here. Have you made this quarry in your slave? We prefer the term indentured servant. Yeah, of course you'd you prefer that. Know that this quarry signed the agreement voluntarily and her servitude contract is completely legal on Ilium. Uh-huh. You actually want to help the quarry and convince the synthetic insights representative to purchase her contract. What if I bought her myself? I could let her go and everyone would be happy. A gallant offer with three problems. First, her technical skill merits a contract of several hundred thousand credits. Um. Also a fee for bringing me before my servitude ends. Uh oh. Exactly. And finally, you are clearly a traveler. Her service contract requires that she remain on Ilium. I don't want them to take me off to a mine somewhere. Hmm. I forgot that this was a thing. <sighs> Why did this quarry sign herself into slavery? Why you can just ask her. I'm good with numbers, and I thought I had a way to make unlimited money. I lost everything. Then I got a credit line and lost that. Then I took out an illegal loan. Get the picture. As part of our agreement, I paid off her debts. Five years from now, she'll have a fresh start and excellent work references.
I mean... I, I, I'm kind of with... I'm kind of with Shepard on this. That, like, that doesn't... Yeah, five years is a long time, but at the same time, don't usually... Uh, servants of this nature never get out of their debt... service contracts myself. I'm a contract broker. I assumed Synthetic Insights would jump at the chance for a skilled AI tech, but they won't even make me an offer. Aww. How sad for you. Why not just keep her? You said she had technical skills. Quarian's strict health requirements and diets make them expensive to house and feed. I run at a minor profit at best. I don't have the money for constant suit repairs and clean room facilities. So, what happens if Synthetic Insights won't take me? A solution always presents itself. I will take care of you. I'm... Hmm... I'll talk to the Synthetic Insights rep and see what I can do. Really? Thank you. I'd appreciate that. Let me guess, are you the SI rep? Excuse nope. Me, I'm waiting for someone. Guess not. Oh, now here you are. Can I help you with something? <laughs> Would you like a quarry? And <laughs> with Tally sitting, you know, standing right there, like, uh, you ain't talking about me, are you? <laughs> How'd you like to get your hands on an expert quarry and AI programmer? If you'd like to submit a resume, I... Wait, is this that slave? Synthetic Insights has no interest in purchasing slave labor. We're under enough scrutiny from the Citadel without engaging in practices the Council disapproves of. To be frank, we're hardly hiring anyone. The Geth attack on the Citadel didn't engender much love for artificial intelligence. <laughs> this is why it's good to have enough ranks in both. It sounds like Synthetic Insights is worried about its reputation. Hiring this Corian would help. Buying a slave helps our reputation. How exactly do you figure? Purchase the contract, minus the fee for early emancipation, then free the quarry and garnish wages for reimbursement. I know the migrant fleet would be grateful, and more likely to make purchases from you. Interesting. We look good for hiring a quarry and we can say that we freed slaves out of the goodness of our hearts. All right, I'll run up a contract. The board might wet its pants, but we could use the good publicity. This quarry and had better be good, though. Please don't talk to them like uh, talk about them like they're second-rate citizens. I get enough of that from Fox News. Yeah, I said it. Synthetic insights just sent over the contract. I cannot thank you enough. I'm happy to help. Here, for your trouble. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'll get this service contract transferred. Thank you. I'll stay out of trouble this time. Ah, okay. That should give me some credits uh yeah yeah not bad that that's that's not bad um hmm well nothing here but hey we got a little side quest and made a little extra money i am all for that There's so much happening in here right now. <laughs> Would you please let go of that of that conversation? Did we talk to him already?
Yep. Come on. It's gotta be around here somewhere. Now, I already talked to you. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Ah, here we go. Finally, we've got one. Okay, and we're right off with some, uh, some of this that, oh, I'm... all right. We can do it. We can do it. We can do it. Hey, there. That was, that one was easy. And shoot. There we go. Memories of it. Wait a minute. Hey, that couple blue. is not here anymore. A sorry skin color in the Doppler effect? That's just it's just we're looking for weapons. Mm. Shouldn't you be taking this seriously? We have some more things that we have to purchase at some point when we have more uh funds. So how's everyone out there? Like I said, I know it's been a while. She's the last of a dying breed. Won't be many pure blood Asari left in a few generations. I feel kind of bad for her. Don't. I heard she married an Asari herself. Had pure blood kids. She's part of the problem. <laughs> Still sounds like an awful thing to legalize. All the dangers are right there on the package. It's legally required. There's so much extra talking. Like you could spend you could spend hours just listening to all of the extra conversations that are happening. I think we've been everywhere. I, I think we really only had one that we had to do. For some odd reason, I thought we had three. We've been everywhere else. We have to find more security terminals. How many more are there? What the hell are some of these things? <laughs> the, I, I, the the advertisements are just so choice. I unfortunately can't seem to find any other terminals. Oh, there. Th ah, such a great shot. Love it. God, I've been everywhere. Oh, well. You should try it my way. Look at how the wind blows. <sighs> Come on, there's like it's you it can't be this difficult to find them.
We've already been through here. Why am I checking here again? I don't know. guy is trying way too hard. Anyway, if worse comes to worst, I did have the nerve stimulation program built into my system. And I hear that the love scenes are Oh yeah. Standard equipment for any responsible adult. Oh here, let me fire it up. Uh excuse me, can you I actually just saw on um, uh, <clears throat> on Instagram there is someone who is a uh, like is actually offering advice to help people out with their dating, like all done through Instagram, which is uh, I mean sure why <laughs> why not use every tool you have right. Okay, how many different I know the data is vital. Where where are they all? Where where are they? How many times do I have to do this sweep and talk and like get the same rejections from the same people? It's got to be more than one terminal. You know what? I'm gonna go back and I'm gonna talk to her, to Liara again and see if that was it. That might have been it. Shepard, it's good to see you again. So, what can I do for you? There's an Asari named Samara here. I think we already went through this. I could find her? Samara. Yes. She arrived recently and registered with tracking officer Dara. You can find Dara at the transportation hub. Why would Samara have to register with a tracking officer? Is she a criminal? No. In fact, she's quite the opposite. Samara is a Justicar, one of an ancient sect of Asari warriors. Dara can tell you more. Thanks for the help. That's all I needed to know. Of course. If there's anything else I can help you with, let me know. Okay, I think I see what's going on. I think I see what's up. We have to go and deal with the other missions, and then we end up getting those other terminals through those missions. Got it. Okay. So... Make sure we're going the right way. Yep, we're going the right way. Alrighty. Let's go get Samara. Listen, I know the data is vital to the Kurosa family. It's not a bad beginning to find that. I mean, after all, we still have we still have to uh, put the band back. Well, no, we have to get the new band together. <laughs> looking for an Asari warrior named Samara. Wait, why? Do you have a problem, or did she kill somebody already? <laughs> <laughs> I've no idea. Just tell me where she is. If you insist, but fair warning, watch yourself around Samara. Justicars have a nasty habit of shooting people. She went to the commercial spaceport a few hours ago. If you want to get there, the pedestal on that balcony will summon a cab. Just be polite when you meet her. Justicars and body are highest laws, and they usually stay in Asari space. 
She's not used to dealing with aliens. Um. <laughs> okay. What? <laughs> yeah. Let's find out. What? Other species coming into contact with her. If a Justicar kills an Asari, none of us questions it. But if she killed a human, do you think the Alliance would understand her actions and respect her authority? No. You can't even figure out your own religions. Fair. A big diplomatic incident just waiting to happen. <laughs> but, I mean, given humans' track re record, whoever Samara would kill. Probably deserved it. Is Samara really that dangerous? If you follow the laws, you've got nothing to fear, and a Justicar would die without hesitation to protect the innocent. But their code orders them to stop lawbreakers with lethal force in most cases, and everyone skirts the law somehow on Ilium. If someone tried to bribe her, she'd be obliged to gun them down as a matter of honor. I'm hoping to avoid that. Ah. That's a thinly veiled tip there. Tell me about the Justicars. They're a monastic order. They've given up their families and possessions to follow their code. Most of them are on some lifelong mission, but they'll always stop and deal with any injustice they encounter, which can be a problem. In some ways, they're a lot like the Spectres undertaking personal missions. Spectres are authorized by the Council. Who do Justicars represent? What? That's like... I don't know a good human metaphor. They represent their code, our code. It's closer to a religious group than a legal branch. No law-abiding Asari would question a Justicar's orders. Nobody becomes a Justicar for personal gain, and they die before breaking their oaths. Hmm. I'm looking for Samara. Like I said, she's at the commercial spaceport. You can hail a cab at the pedestal on that balcony over there. Okay, let's go recruit us a Justicar. Yay! Alright, um... Hmm... Wait a minute. There is one that we... Oh, right, right, right. I forgot. I forgot. Uh, all right. Let's... Eh, let's keep our dream team. I love our dream team. Uh, make sure everything is exactly how we want it. anywhere merchant not until I solved this murder uh oh I had nothing to do with that it was those mercenary thugs you can't seem to get rid of the victim was your business partner <clears throat> and not ruling you out I'll let you know when you can leave what about that Justicar that just showed up everyone says she might go crazy and start killing I need to leave she'll only kill the unjust so I'm sure you have nothing to worry about Pitney for Find me in the station if you need me. <laughs> all of Gara's just strutting over there like, yeah, this is my best side. Look at all the scars. <laughs> Do you have anything to say? No. Anything of interest over here? No. Just like every other game, you have to check every single corner. What do you want? I've already got mercs wanting to kill me like they did my partner. I don't need any more trouble. As if that weren't enough. Some Asari Justicar showed up this morning. All the natives are scared of her. I've got to get off this world. A 
Samara actually done anything yet? The Asari say that Justicars are lethal in a fight. And if they so much as smell corruption, they start shooting. <clears throat> the thing is, corruption isn't that hard to find around here. And yet, he just said he was going to Omega. If you're afraid that a Justicar is coming after you, Omega's the last place you want to go. Tell me how to find the Justicar. She's in the alley where my business partner was murdered. A detective sealed the area, so you'll have to talk with her if you want to go there. Why do you think it was mercenaries? Dakni Kerr was cutting through a back alley last night when someone killed him with a shotgun. I saw his body this morning. They've used modded rounds. That means Eclipse Mercs. You must know something about these Eclipse. I occasionally do business with them. <laughs> it's Mook 1 and 2. <laughs> with my guards. And only after the creds clear. This is a scummy bunch, even by Merc standards. They sell red sand, all kinds of illegal items. And they are all cold-blooded killers. Sounds like fun. I can't wait to kill them later. <laughs> why would these mercs kill him? And why do you think they're coming after you too? I have no idea. We're innocent merchants. But they killed him, so they must be after me too. I have to work the angles and get out of here. You don't seem too broken up about your partner's death. Dakni Kerr knew the risks when he took to spacing. Right now, my worry is me. It's unhealthy to be a Volus in the Nosastra spaceport right now. Especially a Volus named Picky Four. I should go. Eh. <sighs> I am most definitely not a fan. Wow. <laughs> you look almost like a um a dark haired um uh oh what's his name? Um Oh god, his name just flew right out of my head. Just gone. Poof. Conrad Werner, yeah, he just, he looks like, yeah. Cops don't admit it, but the Eclipse sisters run this area. Hmm. Pass card there. Oh, okay. How are we on? Oh, we've got six. We'll be fine. We'll be fine. Oh, we can change our weapons there, even though we just got that chance. It's whatever. Hi, Owl. How are you? <laughs> what can I do for you? I'm looking for an Asari warrior named Samara. If you've got a score to settle with Samara, take it somewhere else. I've got more than enough trouble here already. I need to recruit Samara for my mission. Then we'll be on our way. Justicars usually work alone, but they are drawn to impossible causes. We've got that covered. <laughs> We've got that covered. I'll get you to her ASAP. She's at the crime scene. Dang, you went 7 1 in an arena draft. Jeez. Man, dra draft is a special kind of. Um, special kind of limited play that I just. I don't have. And part of it really is just knowing which cards to pick. And. 
wondering if the, it's it's even harder in arena because you have no way to tell from anybody else's picks what's open what uh what lane you can get into and half the time i just end up drafting five color mediocre stuff oh a after i'm done streaming look at the discord channel i'm curious now <laughs> uh anxious to get Samara out of your district. My bosses want me to detain her. They're worried she'll cause some kind of cross-species incident. The head Justicar code won't let her be taken into custody. If I try it, she'll have to kill me. I have no interest in dying, so if you lure her away with some big noble cause before I have to carry out my orders, I'm thrilled to help you. <laughs> sort of the Dream Selesnia life gain deck? I mean... Selesnia life gain in AFR? Or, well, I mean, I'm guessing I'm guessing you're drafting AFR. Um, I know there, there's a number of drafts happening right now. Your superiors are sending you to certain death for no good reason. You have a right to disobey. We can disobey suicidal orders. Why wasn't I told? <laughs> about twice a day. <laughs> and I know my duty. I've been ordered to detain her and I will. Unless I can get her to leave my district first. How do I get to the crime scene? It's around the corner. Go outside, take a left. Uh, to the police line. I'll send word to let you in. Yes. Um, the smirks have been all over those back alleys lately. Yeah, uh, yes, this is Mass Effect 2. What do I need to know about these mercenaries? Eclipse mercs are professional killers. They sell red sand, trade illegal weapons tech, and smuggle criminals off-world. They control some back alleys around here. I haven't been able to find their nest yet, though. Uh, I've never seen the Legendary Edition. It's mostly a make-everything-super-purdy update. Um... Yes? Uh, it was primarily made so that people with current generation consoles can have it all in one um there was an incredible amount of updating that needed to happen with mass effect one uh mo uh and i did touch on that on some of my playthrough which i th think i think it's going uh, that's all going to start going out next week um so The, like one of the biggest things that they did uh, was make like like update all of the cutscenes, make appearances streamlined all the way through the through the uh, series. But they spent so much time in updating Mass Effect One that that took like fifty to seventy five percent of the process. Um, also, all of the DLC. And no multiplayer is in this. So if, if you're wanting the entire collection for PC and you haven't had it before, this is the perfect thing to get. I have to go. Good luck. We better find Samara before the detective goes after her. Um, yeah, uh, yes. Uh, if you if you want to test, uh, I think the best thing to do would be to go to uh, if you haven't already uh, used it before, uh, systemrequirementslab.com. It will do a benchmark of your of your system. Well, not a benchmark, but it will grab all, a lot of your system details and compare it to an ever updating database of all of the uh, uh, games that are available right now. Um, I put it this way, I built this computer four years ago, and I still meet the recommended specs. I wanted to be a Justicar when I was young. Every Asari does, I guess. You have an old desktop with a 
with a 970 and a laptop that runs Linux only with a 2060. Um, is this, let me see here. Looks like it's good with Proton. <laughs> what is Proton? <laughs> us to let you through watch yourself there's merc activity back here we're waiting on backup proton is a new linux compatibility layer that lets you play steam games on linux Ooh, i'm happy about that uh area let's consider this extra stock surplus ship the rex to ship the rest to thax at his normal destination he'll never miss a few lost pieces Hmm. Oh, I have to move. I have to move something real quick so I can actually see how many, uh, how many rounds I have. Come on, little bundles of XP, show yourself. <laughs> All right. Um, hmm. Come on, fall over. <laughs> uh, let's see. Nope, we're good there. What do I have on left button? I have AI hacking on left. Okay, that's not what I want. Actually, no, that is what I want right now. Anything hidden? No. Nope, can't go up there. I <laughs> Where did you send her? You think I'd betray her? She would hurt me in ways you can't imagine. The name of the ship. Your life hangs on the answer, Lieutenant. You can kill me, but one of us will take you down, Justicar. Okay. And you're dead. No, oh, not dead yet. Sorry, does not compute. Find peace in the embrace of the goddess. Cold. I like her. <laughs> My name is Samara, a servant of the Justicar Code. My quarrel is with these Eclipse sisters, but I see three well-armed people before me. 
Are we friends or foes? I'm Commander Shepard. <laughs> I need your help with a critical mission, Samara. You honor me, but I am in the middle of an investigation. I'm going up against suicidal odds, and I need the best. That's you. I sense the truth in what you say, and it humbles me. But I seek an incredibly dangerous fugitive. I cornered her here, but the Eclipse sisters smuggled her off-world. I must find the name of the ship she left on before the trail goes cold. Oh, I'm sure we could fix that. Go with the human, Justicar. I've been ordered to take you into custody if you won't leave. You risk a great deal by following your orders, Detective. Fortunately, I will not have to resist. My code obligates me to cooperate with you for one day. After that, I must return to my investigation. I won't be able to release you that soon. You won't be able to stop me. <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, let's not fight here, okay? I mean, as as the line from, um, uh, uh, I want to say it was Civil War? <laughs> as entertaining as that would be. <laughs> uh, the human is lost here. And when you clarify, I was trying to convince her to leave with you, but just a car is in their code. The detective has been ordered to detain me. I can't force her to disobey an order. And after a day, Samara fights her way out of custody, killing anyone in her way. I am afraid so. There must be some way we can all get what we need. I see a way. While I am in custody, you find the name of that ship. Do that, and I will join you. Then the code will be satisfied. This Justicar code seems quite strict. It may seem so to you, but this is my oath. The expedient path may be fast and simple. That does not make it the right path. Oh, great. We're going to be talking in codes. Great. All right. How about we just say, uh-huh, and keep going. The Volus merchant Pitney 4 is tied to this. Eclipse monks are preparing to kill him. Get the truth out of him. He may know a way into the Eclipse base. Well, I've got to get back to my station. And I guess I've got to take you with me. Thank you, Shepard. All right. That was... fun. Hey, buddy. How about you talk to some of my friends here? <laughs> <laughs> I swear. Tell me everything. I smuggled a chemical onto Ilium that boosts bionic powers in combat. It also is toxic. I may have um forgotten to mention that to the Eclipse, so they are perturbed and want to kill me. Is this where we get the biotic god thing? Because I'm so wanting that right now. Sounds like you're a swindler and your actions finally caught up with you. True and true. But I haven't survived as a merchant this long without being able to tell when there's a deal in the making. You want something? Yeah. <laughs> The um, the cryo boosted armor uh, uh, armor piercing bullets back here kind of give that away. <laughs> the Eclipse recently smuggled someone off world. I need the name of the ship she left on. I don't know about their people smuggling operations. They must keep records in their base. I do have a pass card they issued me to bring my goods in. Well, I, I had to return that one, but I happened to make a copy. Uh, of course you did. <laughs> Take it, but be careful. Each Eclipse sister commits a murder to earn her uniform. They are all dangerous. <laughs> Please. 
does this not look like the face of someone who has killed before? <laughs> oh dear. So they're just hanging out in here, huh? Find a way into the eclipse hideout. While Saya, their leader, must have a record of the ship name. All right. <laughs> Let's do the thing, and maybe we can kick some mercenaries out of a window. Doing everything I can to drink as much water in a day. Oh, God. Whoa, whoa, whoa. That was unexpected. Well, now. Ow, ow, ow. Oh, dear. Oh, that's a lot of people. That was a bit of fun. Let's do everything we can not to hit the toxic canisters, please. Would very much prefer it if we're not stuck in red sand. Ow, ow, ow. Duck, why don't you? Jesus. Oof. <laughs> Are we cool? Okay. <laughs> Anything else over there? No. All right. Um, hello. All right, Tally. Hmm. Nah, she's gonna keep the Geth Plasma Shotgun. It's good to have options, but... Uh, hello? I'm a soldier class. Um, think I'm infiltrator. Trying something different this time. Don't even think about it. <laughs> Don't do it. Okay. One of them, I knew. I thought being Elnor the mercenary would be cool, but I didn't know what they were really like. Uh, 
which is the combat tech hybrid. Um, actually, I think it is this one. Because Vanguard is usually combat and biotic. And I miss that, but I like walking around with a sniper rifle. And there's the plot twist. What does Ardat Yakshi mean? It's an ancient Asari word for something that I thought was just a superstition until now. It means demon of the night wind. I didn't think they were real, but the boss said this scary lady was one. What ship did they use for the smuggling? Wow, I have no idea. It was a few days ago, and like I said, I'm new. They didn't tell me anything. Get out of here, Elnora. If you so much as jaywalk, I will find you. Yes, ma'am. Okay, I'm going. Thank you. First rule of games, all ancient superstitions are real. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, let's see. Squad... Um, infiltrator, yeah, yeah. Had to check. We can use this. Do do. Let's make sure that doesn't get hit. The question is, where the, oh, okay, we're, they're coming at us from this side. <laughs> Infiltrator, AKA the best class, I don't know. Also, hi, Arcane. Um, I really miss using Shockwave. Yeah, I, I really mi- Oh, God! Damn it. There we go. Aw, Arcane, thank you so much for that uh, for that subscription. Uh, if you... Uh, I think if you hover over your, um... Oh, owl. Thank you so much for, uh, with, uh, that subscription. That Prime subscription. Might as well... <laughs> might as well take some of that money away from Bezos. <laughs> Um, let's see. There is, there, uh, oh my god, a hype train. Holy crap! We have a hype train now! <laughs> oh, I missed. There we go. Wait, how am I not using cryo armor? Oh, they all fell over. I feel like you use it better. Your ship sure is hell prettier. <laughs> I think Emmy lets you pick and choose some of the skills more. Um. So this is all I have in in Mass Effect Two, as uh, as infiltrator. Um. I'm. Maybe in Mass Effect 3 you'll get to do, uh, you get more customization 
It has been a number of years, so I don't really remember. <laughs> we'll learn together. <laughs> All right. All right, I got blue with a little bit of white and red. All righty. There we go. Looking for the green. Looking for the green. Come on. There it is. And we need the red. We need a little bit of red and a lot of white there. There it is. I wonder if all of that text is from a lorem ipsum generator. It's all your sound stuff done at the show. Um, okay, yeah, number of questions. Um, uh, yeah, is all your sound stuff done at the show? Yes. Um, so hey, now there are a number of people here. I can talk while I've been gone for the past few weeks. Uh, so our our local theater is doing a uh, production of a 90s uh, play called Sex, Drugs, Rock and Roll. It was originally a one man show uh, with uh, a dozen um, monologues. And so this one person would um, would go through all of the monologues. Well, uh, that's a lot to put on one person. So, the director made the brilliant choice in casting each monologue to a particular uh, to a different actor. Um, this was the first time that I was the sound designer that 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 I was a sound designer for a show, and granted, this was a very easy show to do. The director made it very easy. Aw, yay! So, thank you so much for the biddies. Um. And. So the thing about, um. Uh. Things like sound design and lighting design and projection. Um set design, props, that uh, anything that the crew has to do to fabricate for a show. Their stuff is technically done by final dress. Uh, if they're having to make any kind of changes or modifications after the show has opened, there's something seriously wrong. But my job was relatively easy to the point that I was... While I wasn't doing projection design, I was doing, um, I was writing sound and projection cues for the light, uh, uh, to go along with lights. I'm good to go. So I was there for final dress, and, um, I was there. Garrus, get out of my line of fire! I wish Tally would say that to me. <laughs> You hit the regenerating, uh, the little floaty dude. <laughs> okay. Make sure I haven't missed anything. See, I was there for final dress and I made an appearance for the opening night. Uh, everything was great. That is a big fuck off gunship. Okay, um... But yeah, I'm I am done with my job. And so they had they had two performances today. They've got more performances next week. So So that's oh, hello, rocket launcher. Oh god. Uh, so let's see. Ah. 
Oh, you're still here. Okay. Uh. Oh God, this is uh, all right. So I will stand right here for a second. This should slow him down. Oh yeah, you uh, special powers from loyalty missions. I forgot about that. Whoa, dear. So basically, I did such a good job that I get the night off. No, um, I did, I did my job correctly and efficiently. Therefore, my job is complete. Um, it's a little, it's a, it's bittersweet because, um, I was not expecting to be done this quickly. I'm used to being in shows where you're done when the show is over, not when the show begins. So, um, uh, so yeah, show drop happens much faster for designers. But you know what they say about show drop. The best way to counter show drop is to start another show. And, uh, Birdie was telling me that the best thing to do with... Uh, the, the, like one of the best things about designing work is that you get to do as many shows as you can. Oh, I see you. I see you. Wow. Let's see here. Ooh. No, 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 no. There we go. Always hit the fragile crates. You don't want to use up your ammo, and there might be more in there. The important difference. Yeah, that must be also my favorite follower powers that you can get are Mordens, Mirandas, and Samaras. Did the big fuck off gunship fuck off? I think so. I think we get to fight them later. Uh, so let's see. So you're not running the sound during the show. You just created the effects and bird or someone is triggering them. Uh, yeah, usually, um, usually the stage manager is, they're the one calling the show. In a small enough show, the stage manager also does, uh, also runs the primary cues if they're lighting, um, or sound. Um, if it's a larger show, the stage manager calls all the shots and then whoever's on the light board, they're the ones that are responding to the cue calls. Um, but the way that... The way that the stage manager told me to do the job and how I ended up doing the job is I incorporated the sound um, the sound cues and the projection cues together in in one program. It's official. Little baby Elnora is finally a full-fledged eclipse merc. I earned my uniform last night when I killed that ridiculous bolus. Shit! Detective and I would be interested in this. Shit! I completely forgot about that. We've been had. <laughs> Sounds a lot like running OBS. Um. Uh, gonna be so good to be able to teach without having OBS open and trying to do all that while I think about doing algebra. Uh, yeah. So it's. It's much easier than um, than using OBS. Uh, we use a program called QLab, and it has a lot of very basic um, sound editing and looping. Um, it also has ways to project video or um, pictures onto separate sources. You can distort them however you see fit. So that part feels like uh, 
OBS. And, but you can also program the uh, different fades, different transitions that you want to go from one scene to the next. And it's really like if, if OBS was one screen with all of your different scenes going from top to bottom and a big button that just cycled through them all. Because uh, QLab has, uh, whenever you've built everything up into one screen, it's got all of its cues listed and there's a big button that says go. And of course, no one really clicks the button. They just hit the space bar because it's the same thing and that's much faster. <laughs> Oh, good. We've got enough ammo for for sniper rifle business. We've been spotted. Well, of course we've been spotted. Oh, oh dear. Okay, hold on. Whoa. Uh. Let's just go ahead and clear all this out. Yeah, I can imagine how difficult it is to be able to, uh, would have to bounce between, like, blackboards. Holy shit! That's what we were saving this for. Ow! That hurt. Did it again. Let's wait a minute. Oh, they're running away. Ew. My blood is all over the... Um... So, Arcane... Uh, why... Uh, tell me, tell me the uh, the follower powers you get from Morden, Miranda, and Samara. Okay, that thing's almost down. What the? Ow. Damn. The things you gotta do to be able to check for other, uh, for other items. We better destroy the gunship before we try hacking the door. Oh, but I wanna hack the door. Ow. Okay, guess no secrets here. You can only have one at a time, but you can switch them up in the science lab. Miranda has slam, which should be fairly obvious. Yeah. Oh, one of these. I haven't done one of these in a bit. Samara has Reeve. Ah. 
shipping manifest shows that Pitney 4 sold 2,000 units of Minigen X3 to the Eclipse, along with 600 units of red sand. This isn't the information Samara needs, but it does implicate the Volus. I'm sure Detective Anaya would be interested in this. We gotta keep moving. Morton has neural shock. Think anything organic with a taser. Ooh. Well, I like that. Yeah, I think it's... Ah, see... So we gotta get to his loyalty mission in order to get, uh, unlock that. We've gotta get to hers to unlock this, that kind of thing. Oh, looky who we have here. Hey, buddy. Oh, we're gonna have the biotic god thing happening, aren't we? Somebody drunk. I am a biotic god. <laughs> I think things as they happen. Fear me, lesser creatures, for I am biotic made flesh. <laughs> <laughs> I think when I played ME2, I was the pure biotic class, and I remember that sort of thing. Knock down barriers in order to land stuns. Yeah, like, I love the cast Nova and then shockwave to chain it and... You need help. <laughs> you need help. You stand before the mightiest biotic ever. Yes, the Asari injecting so many drugs into me was terrifying. Smell my greatness. Smell? <laughs> they may laugh when I fall over, but they don't know what I know in my head. That I know that I am amazingly powerful. Fear me. <laughs> no. <laughs> I couldn't tie his bootlaces, much less fight. I <laughs> tear her apart. My biotics are unstoppable. Let's let's not let the little the little guy uh, kill himself here. Uh, I, as much as fun as it would be to watch him, like, all right, yeah, you go right ahead. No. Wasaya will tear you apart. Take a nap. You'll feel better. Are you mad? I'm unstoppable. Feasting on her biotic-rich blood will be the last. <laughs> Great wind. Biotic god. I'm... I... What was I saying? I'm... Tired. <laughs> you... May be right. Yes, I'm tired. <laughs> so much for Godhood. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you go you go sleep off your little trip and and we'll be right back. Oh dear. 
Uh, let's see. I think we're good. I think we're good with all of our weapons, so... Hmm. <laughs> Can we keep him? <laughs> Byron, don't keep the go You're going to keep the goat, aren't you? <laughs> Uh, someone fancies himself to be like Arya, and they're not gonna. <laughs> Everything's gone to hell since we smuggled that filthy creature off world. First a Justicar shows up, now you. At least I can take pleasure in turning your head into a pulpy mass. <laughs> uh, okay. Oh, she's dead. I missed. Whoa. Some record of that ship must be around here. And in the meantime, we're going to loot everything we can find. Yeah, that was much quicker than I was expecting. All right, there's the data pad, but let's make sure we've checked everything first. Let's see, anything here? No, nope. Anything over here? Probably where the other bad guys showed up. Ooh. What's this? I had a room someone snooping on my new dicks. <laughs> Hi, Tainted Echo. Uh, boom. And... There we go. All right. Jessica here, probably looking for the one we sent off on the AML de uh, Demeter, uh, Demeter? That Dem Demeter? I think it's the Demeter, yeah. AML Demeter, I was happy to see her go. She chilled me to the bone. I just hope this Justicar doesn't mess up my operation. Imagine that. The ship Samara was looking for. Should we head back to the police station and give her the name or look around first? Demeter Grandma Freezer f Freeze Your Face <laughs> Dragon Con Wrestling um I don't usually go because I'm typically at that point one to two pints low on blood one to two pints up in alcohol and I'm chilling in the room but I'm definitely watching um actually no uh there's a bunch of other stuff happening um that I may partake especially stuff that doesn't have much energy like Maybe some magic draft or sealed. Um, it'll uh, or I might be at a digital media mixer. I think we've done all the looking around that we need to. Let's just go. Let's give her the name and keep moving. But I do have to say, so <laughs> planning stuff on the Dragon Con app with a, with a tablet is ah. Oh. <laughs> oh, there's our friend. Hi, friend. A biotic god. <laughs> Ah. 
Uh, no magic. I can't go back. I won't go back. Buying house right now and I need monies. That's valid. That is very, very valid. Thank you for removing the eclipse threat, Earth Clan. It will take them months to rebuild their organization. Also, merely out of curiosity, when you were poking about, did you perhaps run across a shipping manifest that belongs to me? Hmm. Now let's get the renegade points. We both know this manifest will get you sent away for a long time. Absolutely, Earth Clan. For the manifest, I'll give you all the creds I made selling the Minigen. You never know when something like this might come in handy. If it might change your mind, Earth Clan, returning that manifest would be very profitable for you. If you give it to the detective, her reward will be a pat on the back. I've been considering doing, uh, like, building up a, uh, um... Ooh. Ooh. Oh, that's a great idea, Owl. So, I have a very, very, uh... And talks with a certain podcast to guest star soonish. Oh, fantastic! Uh, what, um, what's the, uh, what can you share or what are you willing to share? Um, and if so, by all means, uh, please, please share some, some details. Um, so I have a, uh, uh, I have a very, very large box of, uh, Theros Beyond Death commons. I may build a, uh, a popper cube out of that. I've got the name of the ship. Your fugitive left here two days ago on the AML Demeter. Shepard, you impress me. You fulfilled your part of the bargain, and I will fulfill mine. to leave immediately if that will satisfy your superiors detective you're free to go justicar it has been an honor having you in my station and it's nice you didn't kill me too the eclipse smuggled an argot yakshi off world she's who you're really after isn't she you continue to impress yes i was here tracking the argot yakshi she is a dangerous criminal and i will bring her to justice after your mission is complete, of course. The Normandy is docked near the main trading floor. I'll see you aboard. I must be sworn to your service so that I am never forced to choose between your orders and the code. Ooh, we get to see ritual. serve you, Shepard. Your choices are my choices. Your morals are my morals. Your wishes are my code. I never thought I'd see a Justicar swearing oath like that. If you make me do anything extremely dishonorable, I may need to kill you when I release from my oath. I can see that this is a very important Truly, the life of a Justicar can get lonely. I admit I am looking forward to serving in the company of honorable heroes. Yeah, honorable's a little far. Uh, let's see. Legends, a superhero podcast, is currently wrapping up its arc. I'm one of the backers, and we're in talks to bring on backers to be used for our hero villain ideas. Fantastic! Good on you. And I'm working as one of their coders to add to their RPG. Oh. I mean... I would say it's great resume material. Might look good if you're trying to, uh, if you have to look for a job in the future. It's like, oh yeah, in my spare time, look what I've done. Um, 
<laughs> you do usually go Paragon. That's as honorable as it gets. I mean, considering the company that we have on the on the ship. <laughs> See what you got there. Interesting. Well, I can't verify it. It would be inadmissible. I vouch for Shepard and any evidence she brings forward. I accept the judgment of the Justicar. Thanks, Shepard. I wasn't sure about trusting a stranger and a human at that. But you came through. It's a shame Miss Elnora escaped. But I'll get her. At least you put her on the run. Okay, enough with all the congratulations. I still got a spiraling crime rate. I have proof that Pitney 4 smuggled in red sand and illegal weapons tech. I'll send in some officers to arrest him and his cohorts. This is a big help, Shepard. I can't do much to thank you, but we do have a small discretionary bounty fund. Take this. Um... Yeah, we'll just go right back and, and pick up Thane. Thus we run into the problem of my career. I hate taking credit. <laughs> I, I mean, okay, yeah, I, I'm with you on that. Building a resume is one of the hardest things for me. But I look at it this way. It's when it's less about talking yourself up and more about playing the game of this of I think you'll be an excellent addition to our team. Oh god, Jacob. From an organization such as yours, that is high praise indeed. Like I I think of it less of like, oh, I need to I need to talk up myself, especially if the if it seems like I'm, you know, saying stuff that isn't exactly like true or commendable or anything like that. It's more about making sure that the right keywords are on the piece of paper so that whenever you do send stuff out into the world for uh, for picking up jobs that the that the algorithms will find you and get you that that interview. Um, and then from there, you know, it's just making sure that you're taking care of yourself as much as being able to contribute to the team. But yeah, we talked during Decon. I got stories about the resume game. Oh, <laughs> yeah, we still we still need to have that beer. <laughs> I've seen Samara's biotic powers at work. They're substantial. We still don't know what we're gonna find when we hit the collectors. I will be prepared for whatever we encounter. Where shall we put you? A room that looks out on the great empty void. Order in the observation room on deck three. Thank you. I must meditate on the day's events. <laughs> okay. We don't have to talk to Tim, do we? No. Okay. Hi, Morden. Shepard, important news. No, you're busy. Have to deal with the collectors. Planning attack. Too important to wait. Just receiving data. Still processing, analyzing likely scenarios. Not sure how to begin. Too much intel. Breathe, Morden. <laughs> My work on genophage modification. You stopped the Krogan adaptation to the genophage. Part of a team. Scientists, all different types. Blood pack mercenaries captured former team member. Thalen, last seen on Tuchanka, might torture him, make an example. Recovering Malin would be a personal favor to me. Do you think they found out your team updated the genophage? Unclear. No way to determine until we get to Tuchanka. We'll go to Tuchanka and see if we can find your team member. Appreciate it. My assistant, my student, want to see him. Say. No. last seen outside Erdnot territory. Scouts might have seen blood. Hey! Name drop. Um. So, uh, something else, uh, there should be, in the, um, in the chat window, um, uh, 
there should be a little drop down to change your uh, your icon, but I don't think I have one for one month. I think I've got one for three months, though. Curious. Let me see here. Uh, let's see. If I go here... about this? I can't seem to find it right offhand, so that'll be something I'll have to look up later. That's fine, though. All right, let's see. Is there any, do I have enough to pick up anything? Ah, here we go. Uh, let's see. I don't want to retrain. I don't want... I don't want that. So all we can do is really this. That's fine. Um... We've already got his loyalty mission. I am not going to talk to him again. Oh, thank God. All right, let's go to the cabin and feed the fish. You absolutely have to feed the fish every single time you come to the ship, because if you don't, they're going to die. All right, let's see. Is there anything new? Nope, nothing of theirs. I like that. What do we have right now? We have health by 5%. Health's been doing okay. Weapon damage by 5%. That might be nice. Ooh. Purple's the correct color for me. That's fair. Yeah. Clicking on the little... The little thingy to the left of the text entry box. I always kill the poor fish. Oh, don't worry. We have to. We have to take care of the the. We have to take care of our ham. Uh, you know what? We may, we may try that. All right. So let's see. Increases power damage by three. Health by five. We have here melee. Melee by ten. Weapon damage by five. Shield shield strength by five. It, that might help, but I need to have armor that has the N7 on it. That's just the way it is. And this doesn't. It ha it does not have N7 anywhere, and I'm I'm all for aesthetics here. Let's see, weapon damage by three, power damage by five, shield by eight, and melee damage by ten. That's no, we'll stick with that. Spare ammo capacity by 10. Wow. Interesting gaunt uh, the gauntlets there. I like those. Legs. Alright, so that's health by 10%. And that's shield by 8. Storm speed by 10, which we don't have storm. And that's shield strength by 3. Ooh. Alright, so that's health by 10. Ooh, let's do that. Oh, it's a pet our space hamster! <laughs> Squeak!
weren't you originally stationed on Horizon? Yes. If I hadn't joined Cerberus, I'd be abducted by the Collectors right now. Wow. You really dodged a bullet. Yeah, I couldn't take that. They creeped the hell out of me. I died when I saw Minsk and Boo and... Oh, yeah. The, uh, the latest set has just been such nostalgia wonderfulness. Garrus, I need you to stop calibrating for five minutes and talk to me. <laughs> uh, so let's see. We've gotten hers. Awkward. Shepherd. Awkward. How are you? I've spent much of the last 400 years on my own. It is nice to have a colleague to chat with. I may be rusty at it, however. If you are patient, I would love to talk. How much do you know about our mission? I know that I've sworn an oath to follow you, and that you seek to destroy the Collectors. That is enough for me. You don't want to know why the Collectors need to be fought? When you live by a code that compels you to harsh action, you learn the dangers of curiosity. If I must kill a man because he has done wrong, do I really wish to know that he is a devoted father? I have to... I, I, I have to bring up a train job from Firefly. Because... I feel like I feel like you can really uh, me personally I feel like you can only do your job when you have all of the context and you're saying you don't want all the context <laughs> I'd like to hear more about the criminal you were chasing on Nos Astra I hope you will understand if I wish to avoid this topic it is deeply tied to my code and beliefs you might say it is personal What do you think of Cerberus? I've heard rumors, but learned long ago to form my own impressions. There is too much room for interpretation in the opinions of others. Why were you willing to work for Cerberus when you didn't have first-hand knowledge? I work for you, Shepard. Our methods may be different, but our goals are not. I should get back to work. It has been my pleasure, Commander. Ah, well, we will figure that out later. Uh, let's see. Nope, don't need to go in there. Um, we've already got, uh, uh, Kasumi's, um, um, loyalty mission queued up. Let's talk to... Nah, we've already got his too. Let's go talk to the baby. Shepherd. Just checking in, making sure you're acclimatizing. <laughs> I was just, just sitting here thinking. The picture. I'm finally starting to get it. There's a tank imprint. The battle at Camrum. A dead Turian stripped. You don't see them out of their armor much. A Krogan boot on his head, and a claw hammer. It's under the brow plate, pulling it back, right? Eyes have gone black, and you see tension in the muscle. You can feel it ready to snap. I get it. Uh, I may have gotten in trouble with Dean's office a couple of times at work for being more good than lawful. <sighs> yeah, I'm... I feel that. I've kind of gotten, like, I now understand the reason of being so lawful that you 
flip over to chaos and using that and I feel like that ultimately makes me neutral huh. and see Ar arcane I feel like that's exactly like how you would approach things is just okay I'm going to take I'm going to take the lawful approach and bend it to my will Ooh, open letters. Open letters are so much fun. <laughs> don't start anything with Garrus. I won't have trouble on my ship. I don't hate Garrus. I hate the Turians. Garrus is just one Turian, and he's your clan. No point in ripping his face off unless he turns on me. It's hate, but it's mine. Okir was blind, and he tried to make me the same. But I'm starting to feel what they did, to see why I should care. Anyway, I'm still figuring where I fit, but it made me laugh. Nothing else really on my mind, Shepard. Oh, the baby. Oh, right. We have to level. Uh, let's see. Alright, so I've gotten all of that. Uh, I think I will keep those for now. <laughs> to whom it will concern. Oh, I love that. Okay, and I don't think we've... Wait, have we? Let me check the uh, journal. No, we have not gotten... Uh, tallies. I hear that Rupert is actually cooking some good meals lately. Yeah, right. That scunner couldn't serve a good haggis if his life depended on it. But all haggis tastes like ass anyway. Aye, but in the right hands it can taste like mighty... Oh, those two just need to bone and get that shit over with. Shepard, what can I do for you? Have you got time to talk? I really need to clean up this engine. Maybe later? I'll let you work. Talk to you later. Okay, she's not ready yet. We've already gotten uh, Jack's loyalty mission, too. All right. I want to flirt with Tally so much. <laughs> I, I can't hold it against her for being heterosexual. I don't have to like it though. So, Commander, even your Asari are trained killers. Get everyone at the same store or something. <laughs> <laughs> I assume everything's going well up here. Quiet enough. I. What the? Trouble? No, it's nothing. I. <sighs> Son of a. Very funny, Edie. Real original. Stop it. You did insist on manual control, Mr. Moreau. <laughs> That's it for now. See you, Commander. All right. Before we go pick up Thane, I think this is probably a good enough time as any to take a break. So that means... Uh, so when it's time for me to take a break, that means it's time for you to take a break. So 
get up, stretch, take your meds if you need to, hydrate, feed the pets, and, uh, uh yes, tea break, that's good too. So, uh, we'll be back in about five or so, uh, so, uh, see you in a bit. And we're back. Owl, I am curious to hear what kind of tea you've got uh, this evening. Oh, you mean I've got to land there again? You mean to tell me we just took off without... I wasn't ready to leave. <laughs> no messages for you, Commander. Oh, it's still boiling. All right, let's go get Thane. Um. Take our wonderful dream squad. Good to visit with you in the warehouse, Miss Kim. Did you by any chance forward a questionable shipping note to a Mr. Thax? That depends on who's asking. My intentions are peaceful, and I'll take that as a yes. I'm a representative for Mr. Thax. He's very grateful to you. Please accept this as a gift for bringing the shipping irregularities to his attention. Do you want help finding the person who cheated Thax? Thank you, but that won't be necessary. Mr. Thax will be making a series of polite calls. Hopefully a confrontation will not be required. What happens <laughs> to the shipping agent who was cheating Thax? That depends on how sincere her apology is, and how willing she is to correct a mistake. It was my pleasure. Have a pleasant day. I am unable to find much information about Thane. Oh, Arcane, you really, you really love Thane. I, like, I, I love his, his mythos. Um, I just hate that I don't get to use him that often. Ah, let's go see Liara. My first love before I knew any better. Shepherd, it's good to see you again. Not in this playthrough. What can I do for you? I'm looking for Thane Krios. He's supposed to be here on Ilium. The assassin? Yes. He arrived here a few days ago. My sources tell me he may be targeting a corporate executive, Nisana Dantius. He contacted a woman named Serena. Serena has an office in the cargo transfer levels. Perhaps she can tell you where Krios is. That was all just off the top of your head? I'm a very good information broker, Shepard. The world of intrigue isn't that different from a dig site. Except that the dead bodies still smell. <laughs> Thanks for the help. That's all I needed to know. Of course. If there's anything else I can help you with, let me know. I'll talk to you later, Liara. We still haven't found the other... Um... Uh, is this automatic? Does this edition automatically tie together all the things? Yes, yes, it does. Cargo. We need to go to cargo. Um. So. <laughs> I just. I just love these advertisements. <laughs> oh, 
okay. Um, yeah, so there's a launcher. Whenever you bring up Legendary Edition, there is a launcher that allows you to um, choose whichever game you want. If you want to start from the beginning and play all the way through, uh, you can decide whether you want to just go with... Um, uh, or, or like it say if you want hey I just want to play too you have the option of going through and making those vital decisions to carry things over um Ah, here we go. We have to talk to her. Serena, who wants to know? Someone who can make your life a living hell. <laughs> Too late. Liara Tassoni said you'd have information on Thane Krios. Am I wasting my time? Tana, cover for me. Over here. I kind of like that yeah, that Shepard's getting a little some information but I didn't hire him. What do you want to know? I I am I'm, I'm kind of playing this as like the longer that we stay on Ilium, the longer that Shepard is just getting really sick of all of this stuff. <laughs> Too much brokering and not enough killing. <laughs> stop him when he contacted me i checked up on him the man never gives up on a job i ran security for nasana dantius then i found out she was having people killed to cover up her dirty secrets she fired me when i confronted her her loss i might have been good enough to stop Thane from taking her down why does her name sound familiar she was a representative on the citadel a few years ago right she had me kill her sister the slaver I thought that was just a rumor. Well, you know what she's capable of then. She has even more power here in Nos Astra. She uses it to keep her friends in check and her enemies dead. If you work there, you must have an idea what his opposition will be. Eclipse Mercs, high tech killers. Undisciplined, but very well equipped. They don't much care who they kill, as long as they're paid for it. Thane has quite a reception waiting for him. I told him all I knew. He didn't seem worried. So where do I find Thane? The Dantius Towers, penthouse level of Tower One. All right. Let's go. There's a second tower, still under construction. If Thane is smart, he'll go in from there. Doesn't sound like Nasana is just going to let me in. She's as smart as she is paranoid. No one's getting in or out of there without a fight. <laughs> Good. We want to fight. You'll only get one shot. You better be ready. You know anything else about Thane? Not much. He did say that he's not doing the hit for money. Nobody hired him. I wanted to know who I was helping, and he said he's doing this job on his own. That he had to restore the balance of his life. Oh, dear. I don't know. <laughs> Maybe he's crazy. If he takes down Asana, I don't care why he does it. You're just offering your help. No strings attached. You're going to look for Thane. Nasana's mercenaries will try to stop you. At the least, you'll distract her guards. Take a little fire, give Thane a clear shot. I didn't hire him to kill Nasana, but I won't shed any tears when she gets what's coming to her. Hmm. We're probably going to have to make a decision whether or not we're going to kill her or him. I don't really remember. We'll go tonight as soon as the shift workers clear out his tower too. Uh, even the loading screens are faster. They did they did a lot to like make things as fast as possible. Uh let's see. Now nah, let's let's keep bringing them because I want them to finally unlock their shit.
Uh, yep. The towers are heavily guarded, and you'll find more resistance closer to the penthouse. So, with this assassin, you planning to stop him? I'm just here to make sure he survives. Hmm. Isn't there a speed limit on these things? You'll have to get up to the second tower and cross the bridge to the penthouse. Her mercs will fight you every step, but it's your best chance. We might find him before it goes that far. Maybe. At least you'll know where he's headed. Any last minute tips about the towers? The Eclipse mercs will be well fortified by now, and they won't want to disappoint Nathana. There's no automated defenses or traps, just focus on anything moving. All right, let's do this. Hold on. <laughs> um, I know that there was a significant amount of uh, cleaning up the code that happened. There was less so in two and three than there was in one. Good luck, Shepard. Oh, good. Aw. Come on. Come on. Lock. There we go. There we go. Okay, that was easy enough. Now let's make sure we don't miss anything out here. Yep, we're good? Okay. Poor Solarian. When in doubt, always go in the other direction of where the objective tells you to go. All right, we got we got a little bit of red and white with some purple, like that. Come on, there it is. When in doubt, get as many credits as possible because you're going to need it. We need to be able to buy all the things. Oh, dear. Help. He's still alive. I can't feel my legs. My chest is killing me. Who did this to you? And why? We're just night workers. Nasana sent them after us. She sent the mechs to round us up, but we didn't hear. They just started shooting. They just attacked you? Yes. We were too slow. It was horrible. Everyone screaming. The mechs said there was no time. Asana wanted us out of the way immediately. Then... <coughs> the dogs... <coughs> He's not going to make it if we don't help him. I'm here. That should ease the pain and keep you alive until help arrives. Thank you. That helps. Take your time. I think I'm better. Find the other workers. Help them. I need to get up to the penthouse. Any suggestions? 
Take the service elevator to the upper floors. The bridge between the towers isn't finished, but if you're careful, watch out for the mercs. They're everywhere. Any idea how many mercs Nissana's got? A lot. Dozens of them are wandering around here all day. Oh, good. More the further up you go. Why would Nissana kill her own workers? They were expendable. But I didn't realize she was that ruthless. My friends, co-workers, slaughtered. They were jumping off ledges to escape the dogs. Oh, there's going to be some ledges happening here. <laughs> yeah, uh, the there's been a lot of retexturing. I'll do what I can. Thank you. Let's get moving. There are some times that that certain scenes and certain actions are faster than the uh, than the game can handle. So it happens. Aww. What I'm doing right now is making them fight each other. I know that they're bad. I know that the dogs are are bad, but I still feel really bad in shooting them. Well, to worry about. Ow, ow. Ow! I hate that it resets the uh, the ammo. Yeah, when they when they said dogs, they definitely meant robot puppies. I prefer to use the AI hacking. Hack the dogs, make them go after the others, and have them kill them. Makes me feel a little bit better. Not by much, but a little bit. <laughs> Actual three-headed pupper. I love the explanation of the name Cerberus, too. Uh-oh. There we go. Aww. Oh, wow, they can hack each other. Ow. Woof. They should soften them up. Break me my just consider it a worm or something. That's fair. Okay, we're full up on ammo.
All right. Oh, that's not a trap at all. Oof. Oh, I don't like this. I don't like this at all. Fell over. Ah, so that's what happened. <laughs> Take the credits any way we can. <laughs> ow, ow, ow. There we go. Come on, show me your face. Whew. Ooh, what's out here? Okay, Owl, what kind of tea do you have? We'll just hide back here for a second. Ah, damn it. That's right, everyone just line up. Eek. Just from, uh, okay, I, I need to resubscribe to the Ruby Potion of the Month Club. Yeah. Which, no, I do not have. Scratch one. I don't have a, um, I don't have a code. I usually have a code. For those of you needing to make a purchase, um... Ah, oh, so that's where the other door went to. Okay. Which, by the way, she did... Like, I did ask her if I could, uh, give out some... Uh, give out the codes on my stream for others to partake of. And she said it was okay.
Whoa, dear. Okay. What do we have? We can go back to this. I'm pretty sure. Okay, elevator door. I know we're going to have to go up there at some point. But let's double check, see if there's anything else we need to do, like this. <laughs> knock, knock. It, uh, uh, Please, don't kill us. We'll go, we'll go. Hey, look, they're not eclipsed. You're here to help us, right? It's one reason I'm here. Come on out. It's safe enough. Thank you. We are in your debt. Maybe you can help me. I'm looking for someone, not a merc. He's on his own. Well, whoever sealed us in here. When he found us, I thought we were dead, but he just closed the door and locked us in. Locked you in? Sounds like our assassin was trying to keep them safe. Assassin? Here for Nasana, I bet. She's got it coming. You treat people like this, it always comes back to bite you in the ass. <laughs> um. Nah, just let him go. Here too long. It should be safe down on the lower floors. I was just thinking the same thing. Let's go, everybody. Thank you. And tell your assassin to aim for her head. Because she doesn't have a heart. Get moving. <laughs> They're so precious. Yes, I will be taking more of those credits. Thank you. Oh, look, another terminal. All right, uh, oh, shoot, there we go, yep, and, come on, there you are. And even more credits. You see that, Echo? I'm getting all the credits so I can buy all the things. We're a little exposed out here, especially if anyone's in that elevator. Perhaps we should find some cover. Enemies, have a pleasant day. Come on, this side. Ow! We've got hostile drones. Ow. Woof. Let's wait a second. Garrus, what the fuck are you doing? Okay, let's, let's save the <laughs> capitalism. <laughs> that was a, th oh good. Don't worry, my team's always ready to go. I don't know where he is, not yet. Yeah, you'll be going down there yourself, that's for sure. Very slowly. Damn it. Tell me where the assassin is and I might let you live. If I knew that, I wouldn't be wasting my time talking to you. You're not one of Nasana's mercs. Who are you? You got two ways down, express or coach. Your choice. Look, pal. Even if I knew where he was, I wouldn't tell you. Not the end. 
answer I was looking for. I've got nothing more to say to you. If you shoot me... <laughs> How about goodbye? <laughs> Oh yeah. <laughs> Love it. Ooh. A list of genetic information for the Carosa family. All right. Oh, no 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 no. No. When in doubt. When in doubt, always go through the left door. I know it all goes to the same area, but it's what Legend of Zelda taught me. Oh wow, did I actually set him on fire? Awesome. Well, I got one. No, I didn't. Damn it. That's right. Just stand out in the open. Yeah, the one that I keep trying to talk to, uh, the, the Solarian that, that I keep trying to talk to. Like, I'm on an important call. Yeah, well, I'm on an important mission. Ooh. So, what's in here? More stuff? <laughs> Are you guys all right in here? Get back! Get back! I'll shoot! Relax. Don't do anything you'll regret. I don't want to hurt you, but I will. I said, get back. I'll do it. Nope. Please, please don't make me do it. Hey, I'm not the bad guy here. What's your name? I, I'm Talon. Don't, don't come any closer. Talon, I'm Commander Shepard. I don't work with the Mercs, and I don't want to hurt you. I'm here to help. I, all right. Here. There we go. <laughs> um, he's my brother. I just want to see if he's all right. Oh. The ones who shot the Merc. It wasn't me. Your brother didn't do it? No. Talon was standing here with me. What happened exactly? The Merc found us and shouted at us to move. We, we panicked, and he shouted more. I thought he was going to kill us, then his head just exploded. Talon picked up the Merc's gun, but we were too afraid to leave. Then you showed up. A perfect headshot, with no collateral damage. Huh. Very impressive. <sighs> Getting some feedback from the show tonight. Uh, so, apparently the matinee... While there were a lot of people there, there wasn't much of a pulse in the crowd, which tends to happen in matinee shows, but uh, apparently the um, the evening show was better. Ash, let him go. There are still mercs up here. You should get to the lower levels. 
No need to convince me. Tell him. Come on, get up. Should we go home now? Yes, we're gonna yeah. go home. We're getting out of here. There you go. Thank you. Ooh. Uh, let's see. Do to do do to do. There we are. Um. There it is. It took me a second there. I honestly think I missed that the last time I played. Oh dear. I fell over. Am I gonna have to do this again? I'm gonna have to do this again. Shit. Oh well. The lack of mini-map is story disorienting. Yeah. Are you guys all right in here? I'm not a fan of that. Get back. I'll shoot. Relax. Don't do anything you'll regret. Oh, right. I can't skip this. I you, but I will. I said get back. I'll do it. Please. Please don't make me do it. Hey, I'm not the bad guy. I... Tell him. He's my... Are you the ones who... There we go. Make sure we get some maximum... Uh, Paragon points out of here. There we go. Now we get to do this again. Note to self, save after we get finished with this room. Okay. Now, no, no loading. Don't load. My problem is I didn't, I, I was, I was unable to, uh, hack one of these. There we go. Okay. There we go. That's much better. Oh dear. Oh, all right. Yeah, that didn't take too long. Oh, yes, give me some of that Ezo. Uh, let's see. Oh, good. He's got that too. And she's okay. She's good.
<sighs> oh, I like the single action so much better. Oh, God. Come on. You're way out there. <laughs> I love when they fall over. Thank you, Tally. Useful. Yay, more hacking. <sighs> um shoot. Past one. There it is. All right. Okay, this game is this game is definitely darker than I was expecting. Ow. Oh, hello. Can I shoot them from here? No. Darn. This would be a great time for a gunship to show up. Oh yeah, now they're firing. Get down from there. Lame. <laughs> also the cat. Yeah. Oh shit. Okay. Not doing that. Oof. Ow. Wait for it. Whew, okay. I don't know. <laughs> I didn't realize you were paying people. Oh, I do not like this. This is way too dark. There we go. Nope. Uh, how about 
we use something a little more up close and personal. That was much better. Anything over here? No? Some more ammo. That's good. Okay. Whew. Whew. That was fun. You. Don't patronize me, Shepard. Charming as ever. I'm sure you find this all very ironic. First you take care of my sister, and now you're here for me. Well, you made it this far. Now what? You really think I'm here to kill you? Do you have another reason for destroying my tower? Decimating my security? I'm just looking for someone. Do you expect me to believe that? Is it credits? Is that what you want? I mean, I can always take more credits. Make me an offer. Double whatever you're getting. And I'll pay double again if you tell me who hired you. What? I heard something. Damn it. Check the other entrances. You stay put. When I'm finished dealing with this nuisance, you and I are going to... So smooth. Impressive. You certainly know how to make an entrance. <laughs> um. Oh, right. He's praying. think she deserves it not for her for me the measure of an individual can be difficult to discern by actions alone take you for instance all this destruction chaos i was curious to see how far you'd go to find me well here i am how'd you know i was coming at all I didn't. Not until you marched in the front door and started shooting. Garrus, stand down. I had become paranoid. You saw the strength of her guard force. She believed one of her sisters would kill her. You were a valuable distraction. <laughs> hey, I, I know what I'm. I know what I'm about. Let's cut to the chase. I need you for a mission. Indeed. You're familiar with the collectors. All of that extra texture on his jacket is just ah. Uh -huh. They're abducting and look at that face. Freedom's progress was their handiwork. I see. We're going after them. Attacking the collectors would require passing through the Omega Four relay. No ship has ever returned from doing so. They told me it was impossible to get to Ilos too. A fair point. You built a career on performing the impossible. Eh, I'm the main character. What do you expect? This was to be my last job. I'm dying. Aren't we all? Low survival odds don't concern me. The abduction of your colonists does. You're dying. Are you contagious? How long do you have? If you're interested, we can discuss it on your ship. The problem isn't contagious, and it won't affect my work. 
hadn't heard that. Is there anything I can do? Giving me this opportunity is enough. The universe is a dark place. I'm trying to make it brighter before I die. Many innocents died today. I wasn't fast enough and they suffered. I must atone for that. I will work for you, Shepard. No charge. Ah, oh, good, because we're going to need all the credits we can get to get all of our shiny shit. Yay! New snipper riffle. I've heard impressive stories, Krios. Sounds like you'll be an asset to the team. That is, if you're comfortable having an assassin watch your back. I've accepted a contract. My arm is Shepard's. Uh-huh. Don't know about you, but I'm loyal to more than my next paycheck. Says the dude who left the Alliance to go to Cerberus. Obviously he is too. He's doing this mission gratis. What's your concern? I don't like mercenaries. An assassin is just a precise mercenary. And Cerberus is filled with mercenaries! be slightly more arid than the rest of the ship. Ah, an AI. My thanks. He seems quite civil. <laughs> we need all the help we can get. He's not what I expected in an assassin. He may surprise you. Yeah, and he may not. Yeah, hearing a lot of uh, sirens outside, mostly cops. Okay, that was close. Ah, <sighs> well, here's hoping nobody just swatted me. <laughs> uh. Uh, I don't remember B Jacob being such a pain in the backside. Oh, I do. I very much do. And I'm not going to talk to him again. We've already gotten his mission. Uh, let's see. Oh, right. What else can we get? Aha. Have that. Biotic cooldown. Nope, don't need that. Nope. Alright, let's get these. Alright. He doesn't come back for three, or did I just get really lucky? Um... I think he shows up, but I don't really think he's much of an issue. Thank you, Chambers. I'm glad that's really the only thing that you can say. From Lisbeth Bainham. Ooh! <laughs> hey, Shepard. I heard about what you did on Ilium, and I wanted to thank you for helping out Zeus Hope one more time. We're surviving, if barely. Most of Exogeny left, but I stayed behind as an attaché and to make sure that nothing was left of the Thorian. We don't need that problem again. Also, I'm really, really sorry that I shot at you. I'm pretty sure I said that, but I just wanted to reiterate it. Good luck and thanks. Zeus Hope is alive again because of what you did. Aww. From Detective Anaya. Greetings, Commander. I'm not completely sure this will get to you, but thanks again for helping me deal with Samara. The Eclipse Mercs have gotten real quiet around here, and my superiors have backed off too. No idea if the two are related, but hopefully the next time I meet a Justicar, I can give her the respect she deserves. I still can't believe I worked a case with one of them. You're a lucky human. If I find any more data on her target, I'll pass it along. Aww. Cameo don't count? I mean, I think everybody gets a cameo at some point. 
If, you know, if they're still alive, that is. Which, funny enough, my, my very first playthrough, um... <laughs> um yeah in my first playthrough uh thane died in mass effect 2 <laughs> oh, oops alien aboard commander thanks why can't you collect coins or commemorative plates or something i assume everything's going well up here good for now fractured my thumb on the mute but i think i made my point that's it for now see you commander Yeah, I apparently didn't pick the right, uh, the right squad members for the uh, suicide mission. Oop, wrong way. Like there are specific ones that you have to choose for specific tasks. Otherwise, your your squad mates will die. Uh yeah, let's let's go talk to him real quick. Do you need something? Have a few minutes to talk? Certainly. We haven't had a chance since I joined. When we met you, you said you were dying. Yes. I thought you'd want to know more. You don't have to worry about the rest of the crew. My illness is not communicable, even to other drow. It's called Kepkel Syndrome. Are you gonna be all right till the end of the mission? I should be fine for another eight to 12 months. The more time I spend in human environments, the faster it progresses. Ugh. I think it's safe to say that by the time my body is incapacitated, you'll be victorious, or dead. Either way, I won't be a burden to you. He's an up person. What exactly is the problem? My people are native to an arid world. Most of us now live on Kaje, the Hammer homeworld. It's very humid and rains every day. Our bottles can't deal with the moisture. Over time, the tissue loses its ability to absorb oxygen. It becomes harder to breathe. Eventually, we suffocate. Can't they do something about that? The Hammer have funded a genetic engineering program. They should be able to adapt us. The project has only been my body will still draw breath by the time it bears fruit. As long as you do all the loyalty missions and listen to what they say during the suicide mission, you'll be fine. Thane has just come to terms with his mortality. Nothing odd about that. Yeah, it, it, it's just... It's incredibly refreshing in an odd sort of way for someone to go, Yeah, I'm gonna be dead, so let's get on with it. <laughs> Well, we've gotten... Aha, squad. Do we... Oh, we've got more points. That's good. Um... We got the guy who damn near killed all the Krogan. Give him a chance. <laughs> I, I think he was talking about Dr. Chakwas, but he probably doesn't know her either. Um... 
Let's see. But yeah, I mean, I would say between Dr. Chocolas and Morden, they would cook up any kind of cocktail, really. Uh, let's see. Wow, we're only level 15. Um, hmm. Evolve Incinerate into one of the following options. I'd rather Morden than anyone else? Yeah, that's fair. Uh, let's see. I think... Hmm. I think I want to go with the Blast. There we go. At least I have a 50-50 chance of coming out super-powered. <laughs> That's fair. Alright, uh, it's a little bit before 10. I know I usually play until 11 on Saturdays, but I'm trying to get caught up on some sleep. So I think I'm going to end it here. Also, it's time for me to take my meds. Um... So we will be, I will be back on Tuesday with more um, Final Fantasy IX and another episode of Mass Effect will be next Saturday. I think, I think we're, we're ready to start all of the loyalty missions. Um, so if you're a subscriber, give us your vote in Discord uh, uh, on our, uh, on our Discord server in the, uh, subscribers chat, which mission you want us to go with? We've got a lot of people to choose from, so, uh, but yes, thanks everyone for watching. I will see you next time. Have a good one. Oh, um, oh, oh, wait, 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 all right, all right, all right, uh, so Tuesday I stream at 7 o'clock on Tuesday as well, uh, seven o'clock central. Uh, and then, uh, I have a, uh, a discord link down in the bottom, um, uh, on the buttons down below on, uh, on Twitch. So, uh, there you go. All right. Have a good one, everyone.